Compliments and gratitude don't increase your compensation. Leveling does. Let me tell you what that means. When you respond to a job offer, there's the traditional advice which tells you to express compliments and gratitude, but that does not increase your bargaining power. Now, to understand this, think about it like engineering. There's always trade-offs. In a negotiation, the main trade-off is time versus money. If you're optimizing for time, maybe you're out of work for a long time and you just wanna get back, Maybe you're on some kind of timeline with is related to visas and you're just trying to get back to work or there's something in your personal life that tells you it's more important for me to get back to work sooner than it is to make a few extra bucks. If you have the advantage of not being in a rush, you can optimize solely for money. Now, how this breaks down to responding for an offer looks like this. Hey, Kevin, we want you to join our company. We're offering you 10 pieces of pizza. What do you think? If I'm optimizing for time, I'll say, well, um, thank you for letting me know. I'm really excited. Let me think about it and I'll let you know. All of those things are signaling that I'm ready to commit. There's nothing wrong with the offer. You don't have to increase it and I'll probably take what you're giving me. It is not increasing FOMO at all. You don't want a ton of FOMO in a negotiation, but if there's none, a company has zero reason to take your requests very seriously. So the key is to be winnable, but still not one yet. If you're gonna level the offer, that's when companies level engineers. They say, you're an L3 and you're an L5. We're gonna do the same thing to their offer and say, there's offers that are acceptable and offers that are not, and you're somewhere in between, but we're gonna be subtle about it like this. Hey Kevin, we're offering you a job. It's 10 pieces of pizza. What do you think? That's lower than I was expecting, but in the ballpark of a good starting point. Now, what does a ballpark mean? They don't know. That's why it's advantageous that they have seen their offer get leveled. So, the only two responses to this technique are a company increases your offer on the spot. I have seen this happen up to $30,000 where a recruiter on the call immediately gives that raise. The only other option is you're easier to negotiate later. It's much easier for you to negotiate later. There is some FOMO. They know they have to increase their offer if they wanna win you. Compared to the person that's just saying, thanks, I'm really excited, let me think about it. There's a business need to increase your offer. So, if you're optimizing for compensation, because you have the time. Tell them, when you get an offer, this is lower than I was expecting, but it's in the ballpark of a good starting point. And as a negotiation coach, I can tell you, it's a pretty big difference for people that have one offer versus multiple offers. You're looking at maybe a five to 10% increase if you only have one offer and you're gonna negotiate, but once you have more than two, that number jumps way above 10% sometimes and at least stays between 10 and 20. So. To get multiple offers, you wanna stack the deck in your favor and obviously get as many interviews as you can. And I don't know a better place to do that than Apply Pass. We automate your job search for you, fill your calendar with interviews. Check it out, you won't regret it. And if you want more tips like these, subscribe. All right, see you next time.